Good morning, this is Eromel Macalas, your subject teacher for Practical Research 2. Present the written statement of the problem. Statement of the problem. A statement of the problem is a concise description of the issues that need to be addressed by the researcher. There should be a general statement of the whole problem followed by the specific questions or sub-problem into which the general problem is broken up. The problem statement is the researcher's guide during the research process. It is the verbalization and articulation as well as the analysis of the question in which the researcher wants the research to answer. Here are the guidelines in formulating the general problem and the specific sub-problems or specific questions. Number 1. The general statement of the problem and the specific sub-problems or questions should be formulated first before conducting the research. Number 2. It is customary to state the specific problem in the interrogative form, hence sub-problems are called specific questions. Number 3. Each specific question must be clear and equivocal, that is, it has only one meaning, it must not have dual meaning. Number 4. Each specific question is researchable apart from the other questions, that is, answer to each specific question can be found even without considering the other questions. Number 5. Each specific question must be based upon known facts and phenomena. Besides data from such known facts, the phenomena must be accessible to make the specific question researchable. Number 6. Answers to each specific can be interpreted apart from the answers to their specific questions. 7. Answers to each specific questions must contribute to the development of the whole research problem or topic. Number 8. Summing up the answer to all the specific questions will give a complete development of the entire study. 9. The number of specific questions should be enough to cover the development of the whole research problem or study. 10. Generally, there should be a general statement of the problem and then this should be broken up into as many sub-problems or specific questions as necessary. Here is an example of statement of the problem. This study was conducted to determine the status of the teaching in science in the high schools of Province A as perceived by the teachers and students in science classes during the school year 1989 to 1990. The aspects investigated were the qualifications of teachers, their methods and strategies, facilities, forms of supervisory assistance, problems, and proposed solutions to problems. General purpose to determine the status of the teaching of science. Subject matter, the teaching of science. Topics, aspects studied. Qualification of teachers, their methods, and strategies, facilities, form of supervisory assistance, problems, and proposed solution to the problems. Population, teachers and students. Local of the study, high school of province A. Period of study, school year 1989 to 1990. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O.